Hello and welcome back guys, this is Let's Build a Castle Part 6. As you can see today, what we are actually focusing on is this wizard's tower. As you can see, I've gone from an incredibly unique approach to this. I, uh, I could have gone for a traditional styled wizard's tower, although I didn't think that would fit well enough within our castle like surroundings. So obviously I've edited it, I've made some incredibly bold design choices with the natural rocks but it's, it all looks very impressive and I think I've used this today midway through the series to break it up a bit and to show something a little unique and a little different. So with that little intro I'm going to show you how I built it and we might as well begin. Welcome guys, what we're going to open with today is just you'll just see a quick transition into the rock base that our tower is built on. I felt this is quite a natural design, I've just literally built off uh, using the template of the ground below, it's nothing too difficult and if you did want to replicate it, all you've really got to do is just use the ground below you as a template. It's something that took quite a while to do to make just because it's quite time consuming so I felt I didn't need to really show it. What we're just going to build here off this natural looking rock is the base of our tower. As with everything, you've got to start from somewhere and considering it's a tower, you've got to start from the bottom. So as you can see here, what we're just doing here is, I believe it's an 8x8 um, square. This will, will uh, in fact, um, we will in fact build the tower off. I've obviously sped this up. This is something you'll have seen in all the videos so far, the beginnings of each tower. So it's something, it's something generic and there's nothing else really like to say really. You're just building the base at the bottom of the tower. As I said earlier, the style is very unique and I felt like I wanted to go for a different style that actually looked traditional towards the castle as well as looking quite mystical and magical that would fit in with a wizard's tower. As you can see, I'm just adding these pillars you saw at the beginning to the sides of the castle. These will add a bit of depth to the walls, a different variation in colour again, that's been something said throughout the series just to add a little of a, like, just a, a few more details. And these pillars will just make it look more structurally sound as well. These have obviously been being made two by two apart and then a four gap in the middle. So this overall will like obviously accommodate the windows in the four gap and then just will have walls in the little two gaps. This just breaks it up a little bit. Instead of just having all completely stone brick and then windows, this just makes it look a little more professional. Again, something similar you'll have seen in all the videos is obviously we have to build off some again. So these are the templates we're building off. So this is just gives you an idea. This is the entire like man-made tower bit, and then off that top bit, what we are actually going to construct is the natural rock. I'm again just extending the pillars here all the way up the sides as you'd expect. I'm not going to show you me doing all these. What I'll do is I'll do a quick transition here so the pillars, all the pillars will be finished and the walls will be filled in. As you can see that's just occurred there. The walls are finished and you see them big gaps there is where the windows are going to go. What I'm just simply doing here is I'm removing the, um, the uh, corridor template because what I'm actually going to do there is I've not thought of what it's going to be yet but I, I want to... I want a unique way of getting into the wizard's tower, I don't want it just to be a simple stairway up to it there, so I've removed that corridor and I'll overthink how to do that later. What we're just simply doing here is uh, adding in the windows, so I'm adding in these uh, double stone slabs like to add in the frame of it, and then inside obviously is the windows going to go. As you can see there's stone stairs being used to smoothen it off and look a little bit like slate. This will just, uh, again this is something that's been seen throughout the castle and it, look, it looks very creative and just keeps continuity flowing throughout each build. It'll just mean overall when the castle is done, the, uh, it'll just all look well and fit together. I'm not going to show you again all the windows being built, we'll just quickly at times 4 I believe fill this one in. And um, then the other ones will magically appear, something that's appropriate due to the fact we are actually building a wizard's tower. I may actually build a second wizard's tower out of the... Because eventually once the castle's done, I will move on to other projects in this kingdom. And another wizard's tower might be one of them. It is something I want to uh, perfect and get even... Like, a wizard, a wizard could have more than one tower. There could be more than one wizard, so... For now, we're just going to use this one in the cast, and it's something I'm incredibly fond of. Again, just building off the base at the, bottom, at the top of the tower this time. And as you can see here, we're doing some slow transitions of how the natural rocks just appeared above. Again, just following a template from the ground below. And now what you can see is we have a final, like, natural-looking structure on top. This is obviously where the tree and ruined tower will go that you saw earlier. What we are just going to move into now is, in fact, the inside of that natural rock. I've laid it up with glowstone to prevent um, things being spawned like there you do still a skeleton still so obviously more lighting effects will have to be included later 
what I'm actually doing here is you can see the frame up the sides, but I'm actually building like layers. So as you can see, these are going to be the different levels because this is still going to be livable inside here. It's not just a rock. This is where the wizard will live. So as you can see here, I've got the layers ready for each floor. And what I'm actually doing here is I'm experimenting with different styles of where the windows will go. Obviously, because as you can see, we need more and a new light source, really. I was trying these 2x2 two two windows, but as you can see here, I think they looked a little bit too big. But you might have just noticed as well in the rock there, there were these little holes this size. And I'm thinking they don't look too predominant from the outside, but they do let enough light in for the inside. So as you can see, I'm just actually punching holes in it randomly. A style I've kind of gone for, I feel, on top of this is a little kind of a hobbit hole appearance from the um, from the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings films. I'm sure everyone will be acquainted with those. As you can see, what's going on is like the little windows, a little bit random, a little bit small, and all built into the natural rock. These windows being not too big will just mean like you can't you can't see them too predominantly from the outside, and overall just could create a lot of light on the inside really. I'm sure I'll do a little pan out, it's actually a few days ago since I actually did this, filmed this, so uh, as you can see actually though it hasn't created quite enough light so glowstone will have to be implemented again just to uh, make sure that there is enough light lighting up the room. I'm going to hide it away behind each of the pillars as you can see here. We will build a floor in here obviously in a few moments when we come to it, but at the minute we're just accommodating all the glowstone making sure there's enough light sources in this building. There's not a lot to say about placing glowstone. It's pretty generic. Once we get up, up once we get up uh, to the very top of the tower, though, is when the most unique design styles were actually created. You'll see all the natural how I built the big, huge natural tree and stuff, an effect that is incredibly useful if you ever want to build a build. I do hope that people have been inspired by this and they understand. Like, they look, as in fact, just quickly, as you can see here, they don't look too predominant. The little windows, I do think they suit the, uh, the overall style quite well. As you can see, the light in situation now is a lot better. And overall, the cast I did as well. I, I'm just as you can see, I'm placing the um, the wooden floor here. But again, reminiscent of a hobbit hall. I wasn't going to use stone inside here. I want it to feel like a more homely feel. But as well, I didn't want to use torches in this because this is a wizard's tower, and I assumed a wizard would have more conventional manners. So using a natural glowing rock, I think, would be more acquainted to a wizard than using like than using just torches like the rest of the world. So as you can see, this entire place will be lit up with glowstone. Similarly to the way, in fact, uh, you may have seen the other build. The um, the in fact, I don't know if I've shown it. I've actually upgraded the grounds a little bit that I showed in the build just before this, and I've uh, implemented some lighting systems with the glowstone. I'll probably show that. that the beginning of the next build but that's that's just something to look out for as you can see here just building off the next layer here this is something obviously you saw the template of it earlier it's just going to appear again i've used the pillars effect i've kept them in just to make it look more structurally sound and as you can see the overall effect is quite good i don't know why it went a bit juttery then i think it was because all of a sudden like all the lightning and started all at once i'm just going to fill in in fact now we're going to zoom out i'm actually sure where we're going from here I'm not going to lie to you. Ah, actually, here we go. We start building the magnificent tree. So this is quite a random. I made it 4x4, four four, as you can see. 2x2, two two, sorry, as you can see here. But then I like moved it outwards. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of a random, a random. Like, as well, you have to build off the ground to get straight logs. That was kind of annoying. But as you can see, making it two, making another, making it like 4x4 four four outwards a little bit now and extend it up. Then I'll make it 4x4 four four outwards one again. It's hard to describe, but you'll see what I mean when you uh, when you see it. As you can see just here, creating the um, see, making 4x4 four four tree trunk again, one outwards. It just created this slanted effect. And once I started using this and smoothing it off a little bit, it looked a little more natural, a little more mystical. Because I didn't want to use normal sized trees, all the jungle trees by that matter. I just wanted to make a, a cool, majestic tree myself. Cool is not really the word for a tree. Just something that looked natural and large and impressive, really, that suited the wizard's tower. This is actually going to be implemented with the corridor system, the corridor system, the spiral staircase up towards the um, up towards the tower. You'll see in a few moments. But as you can see, we extended the roots all in quite a random order, just to make it look natural. Again, with these tree branches I'm creating here. Just uh, anyone trying to replicate this, go on a random route outwards and just. Don't make it look too symmetrical, because if it looks symmetrical, it won't look natural. So just keep, as you can see, I'm here. I'm literally, I've not got any plans. I'm just throwing it out as randomly and as crazily as possible, really. This tree, I think, is, a, is an incredibly good effect. I mean, it did look... I needed something on top of this natural rock. And at first, I tried, I was thinking of doing a range of just normal trees. And I thought, no, no, I want something more impressive than that. So as you can see, I've man-made this tree myself. 
can see this has created quite a nice natural effect. Just delete them where they don't look um, when they look like out of place. But overall, it's creating a very natural effect. The tree, I think, looks like as if it's just come out of the Minecraft world. But um, which is good, really. And I'm very impressed with how this came on because this is actually the very first man-made tree I've ever made. As you can see now, is what you'd expect. I'm just going to include all the leaves. At times, I've increased this at an incredibly high speed because this was incredibly time consuming, would you believe, putting all these leaves in. Just to take out and uh, to build all these leaves just took absolutely ages. But so, sorry if it's a little bit sporadic, the camera. That's just obviously because we're at such a high speed. I just didn't want you trawling through and having to see all these leaves being built at incredibly slow speed. So, just leaf by leaf the tree is becoming like quite alive really as you can see I'm just building them off the branches at the minute and then expanding off the branches so the branches are connected by the leaves so eventually it creates quite a full looking tree as you can see we're about halfway through making this tree now just like filling in the main lot of it there isn't much to say really about building a tree but I do hope people enjoyed this let's build I've been noticing we get quite a few subscribers, people actually subscribe while watching this, these videos, so that's something I'm incredibly proud of. Again, means people are enjoying it, and it's just something that makes it just a little, me a little more appreciative of our community who watch these. If not a small community, but it's still a community who watch our videos, and it makes me, it does, it pleases me, really. As you can see, the tree is almost finished. We're just including the last few blocks, and then overall, it is actually done. Just extending a few more branches under here again, just to make it look a little more natural. And the tree has a big, fulfilled shape. Just adding a few vines here to make it look a little old, a little more worn. These vines, obviously, they're not extended at the minute, but over time, they'll grow and stretch all the way down the tower eventually, which will, overall, make the tower look at an impressively old age. So obviously getting rid of that, I think now I believe we're going to build the, spi the uh, spiral staircase all the way up the middle of our, uh, of, our ca of our tower. Castle wasn't the right word then. Let's get rid of those. So this spiral staircase is actually going to be built off as if the tree has grown down through the middle and then built up. The interior of this castle is not finished. I'm just building, in fact, sorry, I'm just building these fences here. This will prevent people falling, obviously. But the interior of these castles, yeah, aren't, of these buildings in the castle, yeah, aren't completely finished. This one specifically is, I'm impressed with how it looks at the minute, but I don't really know how I want to furnish it, how I want each individual thing to look. So overall, like, you'll probably see interiors being built in a, in a separate episode because it doesn't get done in this one purely because I've not got an idea in my head yet that strongly represents a wizard's, like, I'd I don't know how a wizard's interior could be created on Minecraft. As you can see, I'm building this, spy this main pot column up the middle and extending it down, extending it and connecting it with the roots of the tree. This is something later on I'm going to make a look a little more natural down the centre here because at the minute it does just look like a standard pillar up the middle. I do want to make it look more natural with more roots coming off, maybe some leaves inside this big glass dome. As you can see, just extending the stairs over, this is something sim very simple you can do. And then obviously just expanded it up here, so you didn't need to see all that. That's actually been done previously in, uh, I believe, the second or third Let's Build, if you are really interested in how that occurs. As you can see, the vines have actually uh, grown a little bit here. What we're going to build here is, on top, I was originally going to build a really tall kind of watchtower, just for the wizard to look over the kingdom. But then I thought, no, this wizard, I want him to be aged, so as well, to make this tower look more aged. And if it's been here a long while, as I started creating this tower... I, I used a variation of the stone bricks using the grassy ones at the bottom, then the broken ones, then fixed ones. And I created them in a such a rugged appearance to make it look like it could have actually broken and collapsed. So as you can see here, what I'm actually doing is making a half, a half, as you can see that's made out of like the cylinder kind of Minecraft shape. So what I'm deleting here is just getting rid of that to build like a, a half cylinder along the floor as if the tower was literally falling over on top of itself. As you can see here, just creating that effect now using again a variation of the different the different stone bricks. This is a little random process here. Look, I'm just adding new ones around and stuff just to make it look overall ruined and broken. This is uh, an effect that looks incredibly good. You, it does look even better, like as you can see, using the variations of bricks. It just makes it look more worn and old and aged. So as you can see, I'm just using different styles, to see how it works, and eventually we have a look like look what looks like a broken, ruined tower. To further convey this, we've used the vines obviously hanging off the tree makes it look aged, but now, as you can see, we're adding the long grass, because this just looks a little bit scruffy, a little bit old fashioned. Obviously this tower is still in use, but one wizard in it, you don't imagine a wizard to be pristine and, well this one specifically isn't meant to be pristine and 
and all kept well. His tower has fallen apart. It's grown old as well. It's grown old as he has really. So as you can see, just adding more vines against the old mossy stone bricks just to make that little effect. This is being hung around the castle as well, uh, around the tower as well, because this will grow down off the tower and again create this old aged effect. As you see, two little fences were added there just to show where the entrance down back into the tower is, because he does wander in these little gardens from time to time. Overall now, our wizard's tower is now complete. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been insightful for you. As you can see, it's looking as majestic as it did at the beginning. We have now done each little effect. You can see the vines hanging down from the tree. It's old appearance it's got, just making it look like it's grown with the land. I hope this episode's been entertaining for you. We've still got plenty more to build in this tower. It's not completely finished yet. We're not even close to being finished by that matter. We've still, in the next episode, we're going to build a corridor and, in fact, the king's quarters. This all to look forward to. I'm glad you've watched it and you've got this far. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribes will be incredibly appreciated. If you want to see the rest of this Let's Build, it'll keep you up to date. So, thank you.